I'm back again with a new truck. I found this Bronco 1970s model at Walmart for like $30. And I'm pretty excited about this one because I like Fords. And it's going to be a pretty interesting one. So you're going to have to take it apart and cut out some holes there so you can make it passenger capable and then cut out some holes with like a drill or something and get some lights cut out some it came with a light bar but it's not a, like a full real light bar so I'm gonna convert it to one with an exacto knife and cut it out just like that and I also had to shorten the frame a half an inch for this chassis to fit on this Jeep body because you know so I used the, the welder and tack welded it then primed and spray painted it after grinding and finishing the touching up turned out pretty good everything turned out straight and true and I'm using one of my old C14 Toyota chassis and I just shortened it up you can watch one of my Jeep modification videos if you're interested in and how I modified the electronics so I took off all them stickers and uh, I got this one material that makes good headlights I have to uh, answer some questions in the comments about this because it's quite a bit that went into it and then I made myself a light bar with some 1.8 millimeter LEDs same as the headlights there and it turned out pretty good there's a pretty good view of how it turned out and then the tail lights same thing 1.8 millimeter LEDs and then uh, some wet slide stickers Yep, yep, that's what I used. Uh, I spray painted it white so it can stick onto the dark stuff there, and I use a Canon printer. It works pretty good. Yeah, it's a clear one, so if you want uh, that white to show up, you gotta spray paint it white so that it will show up. Not all the way, so you can still see what you're what you're doing. Seeing. You can get any decal you want on the internet there and some other stuff there some dashboard stuff that stuff if it goes on the dash you're gonna have to paint it so we uh, cut out the spare tire there so I can put a real tire back there with an exacto knife again and that's what the wet slide sticker uh, looks like after you spray paint it and it's bare right now but I want it to look stock again so there's the Bronco sticker and some a little bit of interior work. Some seat belts are pretty easy to make.